Oh, good evening, dear friends and cultural creatives. Welcome back to Uncle Bruce's Story Hour. From the last week, we've been taking excerpts from modern authors such as Stephen King and Dan Brown. But tonight, we have a special excerpt from the Book of Bill. On a beautiful spring day, Bill is celebrating his 16th birthday, and his father hands him the keys to the car and says, Bill, this is your first solo trip. Please be careful and enjoy this experience. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad, for letting me use the car. He's very excited when he sees his friends and waves hello to them, being the proud owner of a new driver's license. Hi, Miles. Hey, I really like your new electric train set. Hi, Gabe, Lily, Annabelle. I want to come and visit you tomorrow and jump on your trampoline. Oh, this is so wonderful. And he drives down the street further, and all of a sudden, something catches Bill's attention. Oh, the check engine light is flashing. It's red. I don't know what to do. Something might be wrong, but I told Dad I'd take care of his car and the engine light's flashing, I don't know. Not sure what it is, Bill drives into the local gas station where he sees the mechanic. <gasps> There's a gas station! I'm gonna go in there! <clears throat> Whew, wow, I'm lucky I made it into the garage before anything went wrong with the car. Well, Bill, what seems to be the problem here? Well, hi, Mr. John. I'm having a problem with the service engine light that's flashing. I don't know what to do about it. Well, there ought to be an easy fix. You go wait in the waiting room, and I'll come and get you when the job is done. Thank you, Mr. John. My dad will be real happy to have the car fixed. Bill goes into the shop, and the mechanic gets behind the wheel. Well, it's the red check engine light for sure. And he puts his hand up under the dashboard and he pulls out the light bulb from the service engine light warning lamp. Oh, I got a good idea. Well, that'll stop it from blinking for sure. Now the lamp isn't flashing anymore. The engine is running. The car seems to be in very good condition. Wow, the check engine light is off. I'm so happy Mr. John fixed this car because Dad would be very happy too. Happy to be of service, Bill! He feels very happy and excited about this because now he's going off to finish the wonderful drive in the country that he started a little while ago. But, unbeknownst to Bill, the problem has not been solved with the issue in his car. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I thought the car was fixed! I thought it was fixed! And the moral of the story is very profound because it's a metaphor about life. Consider your body as a vehicle such as a car. However, instead of a dashboard with lights on it, we have emotions and symptoms that express how our vehicle is running. So we should recognize this. When we have feelings in our body and when we have symptoms, these are not negative experiences. These are very important information providing awareness messages. These are messages that something is going on in our body that we have to deal with. But by eliminating the symptom, we didn't eliminate the problem. The problem is still there and in fact could get worse. In conclusion, it's very simple. If we pay attention to our emotions and our symptoms, then we have an opportunity to create a wonderful and happy life without a breakdown on the road.